Hi everyone, let us see a quick demo on how Windows 10 Device Guard protects us from malware intrusion like ransomware. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to first run an attack on a Windows 7 machine and show you how a ransomware attack would happen on a Windows 7 device. And then I'll show you the exact same thing on a Windows 10 device configured with Device Guard. So you can see here upon your screen that I have this Windows 7 virtual machine uh, and I've got few files on my desktop, my Excel sheets, my PowerPoint slides, my Word files and some text files as well. And I've got this email and it, this email looks like it has come from the income tax department. And the email clearly says that there's an outstanding tax demand on me and there are some additional taxes I have to pay on top of what I've already paid. This also has an Excel sheet here. This Excel sheet also looks like a genuine document uh, or genuine, a genuine spreadsheet which has come from the income tax department and it has all the calculation in here. And of course, it also has this skip this uh, warning message at the top which says that macros have been disabled which is one of the great uh, default feature of Office to block all macros by default when it originates from internet. However, a lot of our users do not even think uh, before clicking on enable content. Let's see what really happens when I click on enable content here. Now, I clicked on enable content, but it looks like uh, there's a there's a macro attached to it, and the macro is basically calling up a, a WannaCry WannaCry ransomware, and had started encrypting all my files on my desktop. If I take you to my desktop, let me minimize all of this. You can see here that all my files are encrypting. I've got some new variants of the same file that I already have. If I try opening any of these files again, like this document files, this document files will no longer open. And it looks like the files have encrypted and it is not allowing me to open this file any longer. We'll just wait and see what happens. Alright, so what is still trying to open these files? And I'm pretty sure it's gonna fail because the files are encrypted now. What is no longer is gonna read them normally. And you can see here that on my desktop, all the previous files have started even deleting. Uh, you can see the world could not open this particular file. It just is not able. To, it's not capable of reading this file any longer. If I go back to my desktop again. You can see my desktop wallpaper has also changed and now I have this uh, warning which says that you know all my files are encrypted and I have to use this decryptor uh, and pay money and to get my files back and in a few seconds uh, you also see that I've got this uh, ransom note which, which says that this is a Bitcoin address that I have to basically send some bitcoins and then only I'll be able to get a decryptor key to basically get all my files back so you can see uh, that I've been attacked with a WannaCry ransomware. Uh, it came attached to an email, uh, which looked at, which looks like it has come from income tax department. It was basically a phishing email. It didn't really come from income tax department in the first place. All right. Now let's move to a Windows 10 device, and this Windows 10 device is configured with Device Guard. So now, now you can see here that this, I have the same setup here. I've got the same email. And, and the email also has the same Excel sheet attached here. And I've got a few files on my desktop, some PowerPoint files, some, some Word files, and some you know, Excel sheet as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this Excel sheet and let's see what happens. Of course, in Windows 10 and with the new Office, the Excel and all these documents automatically open in the protected mode. So I'll first have to go ahead and enable editing so that I can change things on this Excel sheet. Of course, the next step would be to enable macros because macros are also disabled by default to protect users from running malicious macros. However, I'll still go ahead and enable macros thinking that it might do some changes to my Excel sheet and uh, give me some new calculation on, on top of it. Now, if I go ahead and click macro or enable macro, you can see here that there was an attached code. However, that attached code did not really run. I, it just timed out with this error message. So what really happened here is that the device card blocked the execution of this particular code because that code was unsigned. So I have configured a policy on this particular device that the device guard should only let signed code to run. Anything which is unsigned, which is part of even a signed package or a signed application should not even execute. So since Excel.exe is a signed package, you know, it will launch. 
However, if Excel.exe is trying to launch or execute additional line of code or VB script, that VB script will not really run. This way, I will not be able to execute those macros if they are not signed. Now, if you, even if I take you to the real malware file, this is a real malware file, and if, even if I try to run this file you know, uh, by manually, device guard will not even let that run. So if I double click on this particular file, you can see here that I've got this error message that your organization used device guard to block this app because this, this file apparently or this executable apparently is an, is an unsigned application. So you can see here that how uh, device guard, which one of the great feature of Windows 10 Enterprise, allows us or helps us to protect against modern threats like malware intrusion and ransomware attack. Most of these malware out there are all unsigned, including the malware like you know, ransomware like WannaCry and Petya. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was useful. Have a great day.